Tyson Fury has returned to boxing and will make his comeback on the 9th of June at the Manchester Arena. He has revealed today that he has signed a promotional deal with his former promoter, Frank Warren. It is unclear how many fights he has on his contract with Warren, but I imagine he plans to stay with him as he has done throughout the years of boxing. It was Warren who secured his title shot against Vladimir Klitschko when he became mandatory for the WBO strap. It is yet unclear who Tyson Fury will face on the 9th of June. Some opponents have been mentioned though, possibly Shannon Briggs, even Tony Bellew if he is to come through David Hay. These would be good comebacks. Shannon Briggs would be a bit too slow I think for Tyson Fury and Fury would pick him off over the 12 rounds, maybe even stopping him after he would retire on his stall just from the sheer work rate of Tyson Fury. The Tony Bellew fight would be a great fight, it would be a technical fight. This fight might be a bit too much for Tony Bellew because he is the far smaller man. There is a 6 inch height difference, Tony Bellew being 6 foot 3 and Tyson Fury being 6 foot 9. Tony Bellew weighed in for his fight with David Hay at 214 pounds, whereas Tyson Fury normally weighs in at 255 pounds and that's being in shape. That's a lot of weight and height difference for Tony Bellew to make up. And all that weight of Tyson Fury being lent on the smaller man Tony Bellew. And Bellew would struggle to keep him at bay with a jab, whereas Tyson Fury has such long arms. He would keep Bellew at bay with a jab, and any time Bellew comes in, he would lean all of that extra weight on Tony Bellew, which would tire the smaller man much quicker. Who else is there other than Tony Bellew and Shannon Briggs? Well, I think that Dillian White would be too much for his comeback fight, although that would be a great fight after his comeback fight. And probably Shannon Briggs is a good fight, but I think Tyson Fury would clearly outbox him. Possibly Robert Hanelius, but then again, I don't think their styles would match up too well, and it would be a considerably boring fight for his comeback. They need someone a bit smaller who Tyson Fury can push around, lean all his weight on, and show that he is truly back. I believe that Carlos Takam would be a great opponent for his comeback fight. Yes, he is a good fighter, and yes, he may be too much for Tyson Fury, but then again, sometimes you have to run before you can walk. Tyson Fury would surely be up for the challenge. And it would give him something to train hard for, as he doesn't like to train unless he has a challenge in front of him, and Carlos Takam is a formidable opponent for any fighter. Look at Kel Brook returning against Sergei Rapchenko. He could have fought anyone, but he went for a formidable opponent who was durable and could punch. But look what happened there. I believe for Tyson Fury's comeback fight, he needs someone like Takam who will trade with him. And Tyson Fury may even want to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with him. And he needs to show that he is back and he is the real champ. A boring fight with, say, Robert Hernelius or a struggle against Dillian White, because Dillian White could win that fight, would be... I think a bit too much and it would put the Anthony Joshua fight back or maybe not even allow it to happen at all. He said he wants to get in the ring with Deontay Wilder, that could put their fight off too. He needs to get in the ring with someone who wants to fight and someone who was there to stay for 12 rounds, a durable opponent that even after 10 rounds with Joshua he was still on his feet and got stopped purely from cuts I think. I don't think Takam was worried by any of the shots. Say he could stop Takam quicker then that would send shockwaves through the heavyweight division. Return of the Mac. Bunch of bums, the lot of them. I will jab AJ's nut off. I helped class the Vlad in his own backyard in 2015. I am the money fight, right? Return of the Mac.